Hello everyone, welcome to Gate Academy Global. In today's short video, I would be briefly discussing about important dates related to the Gate 2022. Gate 2022 last paper is going to Gate over on 13th of February. Candidate response sheet would be available to download from 15th of February onwards. Response sheet looks something like this, where all of your questions would be clearly stacked and along with your question, your input would also be clearly marked. In case of MCQ, it would be only one answer. In case of MSQ, if the multiple answer had been given by you, those answers would be marked. And in case of NAT, the digits which you had fed would be clearly marked. But nowhere it would be clearly visible that the input which you had given had been taken as a correct or wrong input because answer key has not been yet released. That means only question and your input would be clearly visible. The next important date comes is being the answer key available to download from 21st onwards. So answer key looks something like this. Usually the first column used to be the serial number, the second column used to be the session at which your gate paper has been conducted, the type of question which has been MCQ, MSQ, NAT, section which includes two sections, general aptitude and your core subject like in electrical it had been EE and here comes your answer, answer key and here comes the weightage of the individual question. In case of MCQ, you will be having either A or B or C or D. In case of MSQ, you will be having a multiple answers. A, B may be combination of A, B, C, D. And in case of NAT, you will be having a range. And the range is being a close interval. That includes the lower limit, upper limit, and in between all of the data between lower limit to upper limit. Like if I take the example of 4.1 to 4.4, all of the data between 4.1 to 4.4, including 4.1 and 4.4. Anywhere, if you had been following your answer or your answer had been following in anywhere, it would be accepted as a correct answer. The next important date is being the challenges by the candidate on answer key with the payment of 500 for the each question. And the span of time is being 22nd to 25. Anyways, if you, if you want to challenge any of the question, you had to pay the 500 rupees for each of the question. What does that mean by the challenge? If you feel that the answer key which has been released by the IIT had a certain discrepancy. The discrepancy could be like the answer which has been released by the IIT is being C and you feel that the answer must be D. Or the question has been from, uh, framed in the wrong manner and you feel neither of the options can be the appropriate most answer or the question itself has been wrong. Or you feel like the range of the NIT should be increased. There could be a different kind of discrepancies. For that, for the each and individual question, you had to pay the 500 rupees and you can challenge that question. And once all of the challenges are being foreseen by the IIT authority, what they do? They release a final answer key. The initial answer key has been something different. The final answer key has been something different. And actual marking would be done based on the final answer key. And see, this has been the final answer key. And you yourself would be able to see what are the changes they had given. See, although this has been a type of MCQ, but still they have agreed that the question number one has been framed in such that the student who had given the answer A or answer D both had been correct. It has not been MSQ, no, it's been a MCQ. But wrongly they have framed the question where the answer A and answer D both were supposed to be the correct answer. So if your answer has been either A or D, they had been allocated marks, one mark. Otherwise, in first key, their answer was only A. So this input had been taken by you guys by the method of challenge, method of challenge. You can see MTA, marks to all, marks to all. This has been a wrong framed question, the question number 12th. It had been a wrong framed question. So what they had done, they had given marks to all, marks to all, probably this question, marks to all. This all challenges, this all inputs would be coming from you guys with a methodology of challenges. So I would request to each one of you, if you had a gut feeling, there had been a certain discrepancy, you should go ahead with the challenging this question. Anyways, I have seen what are the different amendments they have done during the challenges. Extensor in range. Many of the times they had extended the range if, if this input had been keep coming from the student with the genuine input. I have seen the range of the NIT has been increased. Even I have seen if there had been a mistake in the question, even the marks to all had been given. And sometime I have also seen Range is being like minus 3 to minus 2, like, 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 like I have seen. The range is being 2 to 3. Sometimes this range has been also taken from minus 3 to minus 2. Because the problem is being framed in such, few of the answer, few of the questions were, uh, students were getting, minus answer and few of the students were getting, 
plus answer and in problem nothing has been properly written so this can also be thought of giving challenge yes announcement of the final result that would take place on 17th of march generally one one day before itself at midnight the actually the result gets uploaded but still officially it is going to be released on 17th of march and your final scorecard would be available to download from 21st march onwards if you guys are having any kind of doubt you can put it over the comment box i would try to give the genuine answer for those question bye bye take care